Hi guys, in this video I would like to uh, review Yugoslavian M70 AB2T, uh, just a Yugoslavian version of uh, AKM uh, Kalashnikov style rifle. The rifle was purchased from ClassicFirearms.com, uh, they're a great place to deal with. A uh, rifle came in with two magazines, one original Yugoslavian bolt open magazine and uh, one plastic Tapco mag. Overall the fit and finish of a rifle is really good. Uh, rifle definitely feels like a well-built rifle. Finish is pretty decent. Uh, this particular rifle does not have really thick receiver, but it still has very well-made receiver. It's actually made in Texas, and it does have pretty cool grenade launcher uh, right by the gas tube, which does look pretty cool. Uh, the receiver does have uh, just a slight wobble uh, with some of the metal magazines. It doesn't really have much wobble with Yugoslavian magazines, but with, with uh, Korean ones I did have a little bit of wobble. You do have a slant cut uh, muzzle brake uh, at the end of the uh, barrel. It does work pretty well. Uh, my rifle did come with extremely stiff uh, underfolder. Uh, you do have to use quite a bit of power to actually pull it out. So uh, it's definitely a man's rifle. And same thing with folding it back down. It does require quite a bit of force to do that, which is a good thing. So the Yugoslavians also uh, fitted the rifle uh, with actually a little button on the side of the receiver and from what I understand that's uh, to prevent actually dust cover being blown off uh, b because of the rocket launcher. So in order to uh, open the uh, dust cover you actually have to press the button and then press your main button on the back side and it will actually open up uh, so you can uh, see the inside of the gun right here. So uh, the button pretty much locks the uh, main spring uh, in place. So uh, to put it back on, it's actually kind of a similar process. So you would actually press the button in and then uh, move it over and then depress the button. So then it kind of holds it in place. Uh, then pretty much after that, you just slide the cover back on and press the side button and it would pop back in. Uh, on mine, actually, uh, my slide cover was kind of tight. I did have to hammer it a little bit at the end so it wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't close easily. And it's still extremely tight, but I actually don't mind it that way. So the bolt hold open feature is pretty cool in these rifles. Uh, you do have to use uh, Yugoslavian magazines in order uh, to achieve that. Uh, but the way it works, it's pretty cool. So it, it, it would actually lock on the follower of the magazine. The bolt would lock on it. And I'm not sure if you guys can see in there. So pretty much bolt just locks on the, on the top of the follower uh, because of the shape the follower. And of course, once you release the magazine, the bolt will slide right back. And this is the way the follower looks. So you just have a little bit hump type of back on it and just edges, ridges of the magazine are a little bit different. Well, that's pretty much it. So overall, what can I say? A pretty nice, decent made AK. I mean, it does have a pretty good build quality. I mean, you got decent safety. I mean, moves smoothly, freely. You have decent action. Moves freely. By the way, weapon is safety check multiple times. Uh, I did took it to the range. Uh, it ran perfect. Uh, rapid firing, it ran perfect firing, you know, from any position in really windy, dusty conditions. It ran really, really well with pretty much Tapco magazines and it ran really well with Yugoslavian magazine. But the Korean mags that are in it ran fine, but they were scraping. They actually were scraping. I'm not sure if you could see, but over here at the end, you have almost like some metal loss so the bolt was definitely right in those mags but again they are Korean under $10 mags so what could you expect I mean they were great in my other case so I'm not gonna cry about it or anything like that but overall really cool weapon I mean you do have this awesome looking grenade launcher which you'd never use but classic firearms Arsa does have sale right now on uh, Yugoslavian mags including the actual grenade launcher for it that goes instead of the muzzle brake of the uh, weapon. So that's pretty cool, probably gonna pick that up since it's Cyber Monday, almost over. Gotta do it! Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching the video, uh, please subscribe, uh, there is more videos coming up and there's gonna be a lot more range days with multiple guns. So thank you for watching, goodbye!